Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 20th of 2023. Well, it is titled M64, the black eye galaxy close up. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a Hubble Space Telescope image of the galaxy, the spiral galaxy known as M64, sometimes called the black eye galaxy for the distinct dark color around the one side, possibly resembling a black eye on a human. Now a spiral galaxy is similar to our own Milky Way. But when we look at it here, we're looking at it from outside. And in this case, we look at it from a great distance of about 17 million light years, meaning again that we see it not as we as it is today, but as it was about 17 million years ago. Now, when we look at the galaxy, we can see the distinct spiral arms swirling out from the center and the dark dust clouds highlighted at this specific angle, even by the very dark dust clouds on the right hand side, giving it that black eye appearance. Now we also see some very bright blue associated with those spiral arms. Those are many massive open star clusters that have formed and they are as again a sign of star formation. Now we know that they formed recently because these stars don't live for a very long time. And if we see a star that only has a lifespan of say 10 million years, then we know it must have formed within the last 10 million years. Otherwise, we would not be able to see it. It would be gone. It would have gone through its life and be gone. So the fact that we see these tells us that star formation is an ongoing process within spiral galaxies. Now, as we look closer down toward the center, we will find that there is a supermassive black hole. And we found that find that in essentially every galaxy that exists. And that is when material is compacted so close together at the center that it ends up with a black hole. Now, for something like our own galaxy, that's a, a black hole of about four million times the mass of our sun. Some galaxies have them much, much larger than that going up to billions of times the mass of our sun. So some of them are even more and that is what gives galaxies their energetic centers. When that central central black hole is being fed, then the galaxy will be giving off more energy and becomes what we call an active galaxy. Now here we get to see not that type of galaxy in M64, but a more traditional spiral type galaxy. Although one interesting thing about this galaxy is that all of the stars and the inner portion of the disk all rotate in one direction, but the outer portion of the disk rotates in the opposite direction. Now when we see something like this, we associate that with some kind of merger of galaxies that occurred long ago. So maybe billions of years ago, galaxies merged together, giving that this one its unusual structure in terms of having inner gas rotating in one direction and the gas in the outer sections rotating in the opposite direction, something you normally would not expect in a galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for July 20th of 2023. It was titled M64 the black eye galaxy close up. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.